and I am live from Farsville. Afternoon, everybody. Welcome to another adventure of choochin' and spookin' here tonight. Take a little break from video editing and uploads. Let's get it on tonight. Wait for everybody to come in. How you doing, Shimei? Nice to see you. Welcome to the town of Forestville, California, where we're going to do some choochin' and spookin'. First thing I'm at at this mini mall, it looks dead. Here, huh? Ain't nothing going on here. Hey, Alistair. Man, this alone is spooky enough. What's up, NNC? Hey, Sonny. Hey, Kitty. How are you? <clears throat> We got the full Monty tonight, the town chooch, and then out to the cemetery. So, it should be pretty good. How you doing, sadistic? Hello, Ronnie McDave. What's going on? What is going on? Starting with a little dead mall tour here tonight. <laughs> Most empty convenience store I've ever seen in my life. How you doing, Gail? Well, be a big talker tonight. Hello, Susan. We're going to be out here choochin'. We got the whole nine yards tonight. Cemetery, chooch, everything. Place I've never chooched before. Out here, you'll hear me sniffling a little bit. <clears throat> because it's in the thick of allergy season. There's the international symbol of fine chooching. Right there, I got my pack on my side. Got my spray, my flashlight. I'm ready for action tonight. How you doing everybody? Welcome aboard. Yeah, they're good and scary, and this one's particularly scary because it's so easy to overshoot the entrance, and it's so, <laughs> so friggin' overgrown. And we're on a pretty, pretty busy highway, so it's easy to get nailed. Kind of looking for the entrance, and it's going to be pitch black. I mean, there's not going to be anything out there. But me and the light, and all the goblins out there. So welcome aboard, everybody, to the town of Forestville. I'm going to poke up here and see what's around. There's no real sidewalks around in this part. How you doing? 49, you wish you had you F my energy? <laughs> well, I'm definitely slowing down, but you wouldn't know it. As long as there's a chooch to be done, I'm going to be doing it. Yeah, thank you, Cinnamon Hot Hot Hot. Thank you for your wonderful comment today. Really appreciated that. One of those very faithful watchers. What is that place up there? I don't know what the hell. Is that the police station? Forestville Water District. I don't know what the hell that is. <clears throat> Tell you the truth, guys, this has always been like a drive by town. <clears throat> Nice homes out here. Some people got some money. So, welcome aboard. Settle in. Grab your snacks. Choochin' and spookin'. All in one night. If you guys have not seen the first, I think I have two up of my road trip. I got the third one. It's going to go live very early in the morning. I think that's the fire department up there. Hey, Jody. So, I don't want to get nailed on this road. This could be very zombified. How rustic. Russian River Utility. What the hell they do there?
Guys yelling already over there. I got my spray, my light. So while we still got some light, let's roll through town a little bit. This West Side Center is a very dead place over here. If you hear me, oh well thank you Jody, the road brought me to tears. This is my enemy, right here. Grass pollen galore. How you doing Amanda? There's a lot of California to see. We barely scratched the surface. Next time I go north, it'll be up on 101. I'd like to go all the way up to Eureka and Crescent City. Don't touch it. It's not so much touching it, it's just the damn pollen. It's brutal. What's up, Donnie? How you doing, my friend? Your basic dead strip mall. Got your bone cracker in there, massage therapist, and Chinese food, the usual. Start the party, quirky girl, girl is aboard. Hey look, I've never really walked around Forestville before. So we're all seeing this for the first time. And like I said, the cemetery is extremely dangerous here. Due to, well, probably overshoot it trying to get in there. Look at those gas prices. Yeah, Quirky, hope you're feeling better. Hope you're feeling better. <clears throat> hope you are feeling better. It'll be all new for us tonight. So, I'm a little concerned about wild animals and stuff out here tonight. Coyotes and mountain lions. Fill her up, Liz. How you doing, Rebecca? Nice to see you. Look at that. How you like them apples, huh? Welcome to California. Forestville, their tagline is the good life. I think it's a couple thousand people out here. Yeah, I have my uh, pepper spray. I'm gonna drop my glasses at little rascal here. I got it all, I got a snack, I got a drink. I got my bag. Ready for action tonight. <clears throat> this looks like some kind of park over here. Yeah, 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 you knucklehead. Turn it up louder. You'll make us wish we're dead. There's some people pulling it into the park. I don't know. I don't know. The international symbol of fine choo There it is. As the sun sinks low in the California sky. Let's do a check on property here. Somebody was saying how colorful the flowers are in California. There's a prime example of it right there. Kind of daisies. Homes, 600,000. Eight hundred eighty. The hell's that? Five thirty, that's a bargain, isn't it? Two bedrooms. I don't know. It's all looks. Oh, 
It's awful expensive. Uh, let's go look over in the park. I'm not sure if this town's on the Russian River or not. I don't know. How you doing? Uh, is that uh, Tupac? How you doing, my friend? I'm going to put my uh, sunglasses before they get lost in the melee of the cemetery tonight. Nothing like a late April night in the cemetery. lose my keys either. Can you imagine that? Not sure if the Russian River is down there or not. We're going to find out in a few minutes. Got to be careful crossing this road. They're coming over that really fast right there. Objects are closer than they appear on the, on the camera. Let's head on in. It's like just a trail or something. What the hell is this dumpy old place? We're gonna do we're doing the choochin and the spooking. The whole Monty tonight, the towns. The cemetery. The whole deal. That's what we're doing, beautiful Jasmine tonight. Should I hit the spot a pot? Like the door's busted off of it. <clears throat> Private property, really? This looks like a chair down. Hey, Bruce. It smells like something died over here. 71 degrees, very comfortable. Man, it smells like something died. Look at these funky old oak trees. That's what really adds to the cemetery feel at night, these freaky trees. You couldn't just have a standard weeping willow and be a normal cemetery, right? Man, somebody shot a hole in that baby. Never want to just stick your face in something. Gotta watch out for rattlesnakes too here. Big Western Diamondback Rattlers. You may or may not get a warning rattle. Yeah, there's a porta pot. I'd probably use a tree instead of that. Thing looks a little shaky, you know, like something out of uh, what was that show with uh, Steve O, the old. Uh, Jackass movie. Oh yeah, it's got a lot of quiet little towns. There's very few really large cities you get to out outside of five or six large cities. It's as rural as rural can be. Very sparsely populated. Something out of Jackass. This I carved that. I had this laid a big tree tree trunk on there. I don't know. I don't know how far this trail goes. I don't know. I'm not going to be trail walking at night. Looks like it goes right to a vineyard right here. How are you? How are you doing, T.S. Not kind of a. Kind of a spooky town. Everything is just kind of like hard scrabble, you know. All the homes are just kind of pasteboard and masonite. And how you doing, Linda Harper? Prayers to those that need them. We are out on the chooch tonight. If you've not seen the videos, part two has been live since early morning. And part three will go live early tomorrow morning. So I'm really pleased about the way that those videos are turning out. 
How you doing, Jennifer? What'd you say? I wouldn't want to be on that non -lit. Yeah, this is a really bad place to be. Because when the sun goes down, all the rattlers and things come out of the uh, grass and they lay on the asphalt to get the warmth. And these poor slobs come walking along here and they don't even see it and their dog gets nailed. Right. Beautiful vineyard. Yeah, I think people are always surprised how very rural California is. I think we'll turn around here. I don't want to get all caught up back here. You can hear a pin drop. Let's listen to nature. Blackbirds. Blackbirds, they have that orange, a little bit of orange on the wing. Really aggressive bird. Yeah, let's practice our thumbs up strategy today. Uh, things have been going pretty good. I'm pretty happy these days. Pretty darn happy. Happy I'm going to be traveling. I've really been stuffing the work hours in too. So I'll get some dinero in the bank. Look at these are all wild uh, blackberries here. If you ever want to put up the ultimate home protection, surround your home with blackberries. You just, a uh, person would be cut to ribbons coming through that stuff. There's the international symbol of chooching. There it is. No, we don't do, uh, we sometimes create our own drama in here. But, um, yeah, I've never been a person particularly drawn to that. Looks like some swamp over here. God. Damn. Thank you, Jennifer. The symbol of chooching. There it is. I think I'm going to put that silhouette. I think I'm going to make my coffee mug with just a silhouette of that. With the selfie stick and camera and the hat. I think that's pretty cool. Hey, Tara. How you doing, babe? Tara, I should be taking off Sunday. So, God willing. And I will see you Sunday night in Encinas, California. I may do a day or I'm not sure. I might spend a, two nights there in the van. Yeah, so what I mean. At one time, this was a... I don't know what the hell this is. They got all these big crates out here. I think that would make a great mug. That would really define <clears throat> just a really tasteful script below. Rosie O'Kelly channel YouTube. I think that will be the ultimate first in a series of collector cups Limited edition So you can grab that when we're choochin The hell is this person at? Is that like a maybe that's a that looks like a warehouse, I guess I don't know is that mouse toes. How you doing babe? I don't know what the hell that is Got to watch your step here because of all the holes in the ground from gophers and we'll let that sun go down and get good and dark. I'm going to probably regret this cemetery a lot tonight. <clears throat> probably going to regret that a lot. It's an, it's kind of an abandoned cemetery. I'm a little concerned about the total absence of light. This guy's got a brew factory or something here. How you doing, Robert? I'm always curious as to what the hell people do. Somebody's big class A there. Look at this old rustic place here. 
like the Ma and Pa Kettle House back there. See, everybody thinks people in California all got money. Not true. Let's get up to town and do a little choo-choo. Everybody's got their eight-foot fences. Tried to seduce your neighbor. Well, what a way to spend a 420 day. And if you're interested in the roots of 420, you can go into my search box and just put 420 in there. And you, I went to the actual place, the actual high school where 420 was born. Oh, yeah, an alley of doom right off the bat. Yeah, a lot of it is very, uh, very rural. Hey Noreen, how are you? How are you? Hello. It's very nice. It is. There's a bunch of these all over Sonoma County where they've got them painted on the sides of buildings. You can just look up murals. Yeah. Well, I'm t I'm doing it. I have a YouTube channel, so I'm doing a tour of Forestville. Oh, good. Is this your home here in Forestville? I work here. No, I, oh, work, uh, I live out in Oh, seems like a very quiet town where nothing much happens down here. No murder or mayhem. <laughs> Not this week. All right, have a good one. I think we'll head down. What do you think, guys? Should we? Uh... Yeah, sweet lady. I don't know what she's doing. I think we'll head down the alley of doom here. Non traditional touring. Somebody's got their garden planted. I like to go the back ways. It's always more interesting. <laughs> yeah. I'll give you an A for the thought and a C for effort on this this thing. I can't even identify the plants in here. I guess these are beets in here. I don't know. I don't know. God knows what kind of seepage comes out of this baby. What kind of joy juice is seeping out? It's right next to the outhouse right here. Jeez. Happy 420. Can you imagine that? That pot sitting right there. This is a town that definitely appreciates the 420. I can tell you that. I've never smoked weed. I'm just a drinker and I don't even drink that much anymore. I think we'll start with the Alley of Doom back here. Palm wax candles, the flame of the future. Huh? The flame of the future. Nothing happened to Miss, Miss Jenny. Her channel's still there. Yesterday she got her infusion. Hello. What's up? Got any buzz change? I don't, sorry. Hit me up for bud. Like really? Don't say hi, just get right to the good stuff. All right. There's a pretty nice house there, but then right next door you got the original cabin from the Beverly Hillbillies here. Forestville's claim to fame is I don't know. I don't know. Good high school. I don't know. Yeah, look at this, man. Whoa. Buffalo Springfield. That's really a hippie leftover shack right there. See what I mean? You can always find interesting stuff. She wanted some bud. She didn't say hi. I said, what did I say? Hi repeatedly. She got right to the good team. Sound like bus change. 
So you can feel, you can see the very old, the very new, the very radical, and the very conservative in this community. Some nice irises. Let's see what uh, Treasures First Street holds down here. This is all new to me, guys. Boy, I smell the weed now. Hoo-wee. Look at this. No sidewalks, no nothing. Lots of alleys of doom here, though. Which I like. It's a cute little cottage. Just needs a little bit of TLC. Yeah, that's what I do on public streets, Rosie O'Drama. That's what I do. In no way, shape, or form do I invade private property. But thanks for popping by. Yeah, cute. Weed is in bloom. Hello, Queenie. Here's one of these take a book, leave a book things. Dean Coots, isn't he uh, cyanotic, cyanetics, or whatever the hell it is? Surviving Alzheimer's. Joshua's hammer. I don't know. Little, fry, little fires everywhere. What color is your parachute? Man, when was that published? I remember that. The whole year was this published. See how curious I am? When did it? 1972. Wow. You could run into it. This is exactly the area you could run into some Manson family devotees out here. This is exactly the area. This is it. This is exactly the area. Railroad Avenue. I don't know, this is all new to me. You think there used to be a railroad here? Cottage Massage. Forestville Teen Clinic. Great place for a murder gal. Hear that? Hear that? Organic coffee roasters. All I smell is weed is heavy in the air. <laughs> Still trying to figure my color. Man. Rick's complete automotive. Yeah, much happened in 83 and 84. What the hell that is down there? Oh well. Multi-commercial property should be okay to go on, right? Somebody's got a nice van again. Gosh, look at this old baby. What the hell is that real? That thing. I mean, it's nice, but it's a little spooky at the same time, you know. And this looks like the Organic Roasters Company. Yeah, gathering price for bohemians and writers and artists. Probably still is. But I think it's very expensive now. Yeah, I'm not 
wasn't sure if I'm not sure if meth would be the thing of choice out here. Very rustic coffee company. Break your neck and walking around. Nice doggy. Nice doggy. Oh, this is the other side of that place I was looking at. Man, it looks like an old distiller's column there. Yeah, this looks like a brewery or a distillery. I kind of thought so, the big tanks of sugar. Look at these fermentation tanks. I bet these cost a fortune. 310 stainless. Maybe this girl knows down here. <clears throat> I know it's a distillery. How are you today? Good. Good. Was that a distillery over there? Uh, Oh, okay. So, Inter a winery that's on that side Interesting. Pre-prohibition, they make wine here. Wow. And there's all old equipment out back. Yeah, I'm doing a and YouTube. Then it did a, turned it into an apple processing facility. Cool. Yeah, I'm doing a YouTube live stream just touring the town and just kind of very interesting little town. Yeah. This your coffee? Yeah, kind of hole in the wall. yeah. It's cute. Take care. You too. Can't tell me that's old. I mean, shit, you got new stainless tank, stainless steel fermenting vessels out front. Really? <laughs> Don't touch anything. Yeah, I know. Well, at least nobody's. Uh... See, this is what this whole area is surrounded with. All this crap. We used to be on vineyards. They had to clear all this crap off to clear it for grapes. I don't know, I guess they have an outdoor fireplace there. SunshineCoffeeRoasters.com Looks like some kind of old loading dock or something. Oh, that might have been for processing apples for washing or something down here. Like apple processing or something. What the hell? Any guess what that is, guys? Probably looks like a 1880s, 90s manufacturer. Old belt driven. It's some kind of shoot. It's like they take the apples and take them into the processing. Along there. What the hell it is. It smells like rat shit in there now. This isn't really a town where you have to lock your doors. Oh, I thought that was real, man. That scared the hell out of me. Look at that.
Holy crap. Is that real? Man, that's a real, that's real, man. I can see his little gizzard moving up and down. I don't know if that thing is real or plastic. I don't know, man. I don't really mess with nature. It's a good way to lose a finger, right? I don't know. I think it's plastic, but my luck to think I'll chop down on me and take surgical appliance to get it out of there. Ah, that's creating a huge medical bill. <coughs> No doubt, though, it's interesting around this town. Lizard stew, if you can get that skin off, I don't know about the meat. I don't know about the meat. Man, I shouldn't have worn this heavy sweatshirt. Oof. Yeah, it looks real to me, real enough that I'm not going to muck around with it. My sounds drunk up there. It's a good stew. I'm surprised I never had it. Some kind of teen clinic. Est early STD testing, I guess. Place has probably been closed quite a while. <clears throat> I think it's rubbers, but I'm not gonna, you know, stick my finger down to pet it and then, you know, that's the end of that. It just looks like a storage place down there. So we will be heading over to the cemetery when it gets dark. It's like waiting for the fireworks when you're younger, you know, you gotta, you gotta wait. You gotta wait. The feature I notice here is a lot of community, excuse me, a lot of commu community gardens. Yeah, reptiles are too unpredictable. Look at this bamboo. When I lived in Hong Kong, that's the way they constructed buildings. They'd run that up 100, 120, 130 stories, bamboo with just zip ties. Rarely had a problem. What the hell this is? Uh, you know, I don't want to be involved in that <clears throat> melee. I'm not really a theme park person. I'm really a non-traditional <clears throat> touring. Looks like the peas. Doing good peas or beans. Looks like I got some old snap beans. Keeps the bugs out. No. Probably a very good sense of community here. <clears throat> Strawberries. Shame nobody picks them, you know, that's the problem. Put them in, you got some nice looking berries there.
We throw in a lot of tomatoes and peppers. Wow, they're putting a lot of stuff in here. They do it up. This looks like eggplant here. I guess everybody's going to be conveniently away on planting day. April 15th is generally your last threat of frost. It's a very warm winter. I gotta sit here and have a little soda with you guys. We're on a choo jam, we're cemetery choochin'. When that sun goes down, let me get my drink yet. Sun sinking low in the California sky. Now I'm not planting a garden, Christina, because I'm going to be on the road a lot. I'm going to be on the road. be a beautiful sunset look at this fake cell tower over here these things kill me you can't put a real cell tower in these towns people go crazy so they disguise them up yeah well <clears throat> you know quirky it's not that I'm against drinking it's just that um, you know when you do those long hangouts and you've been drinking all the time, it can get a little brutal sometimes. And some of those hangouts, that back in the day, I'd find myself drinking eight, ten beers. Ah, uh, Colorado. Hope only bears. Well, tonight, guys, we got to make damn sure to be careful about mountain lions. This is one of their prime stomping areas out here. Beans, beans is it so rural? The same watering system you have, yeah, the pipes. Yep. Yep. That's right, Craig. Hot peppers, Serrano peppers. I'm sure these things are all organic. I don't even know what this place is. Some kind of community center? I don't know. It hasn't rained for two months. They're supposed to get some rain on Sunday. What the hell is this place? Like some kind of social club or something, I don't know. Yeah, baby. AIDS food bank. Some kind of food bank or something. Oh, I guess if you don't got any money, you can come in here and just shop. Right. Welcome to California. <laughs> yeah, those ugly ass uh, towers.
Frog legs are okay. Ain't gonna kill you. Life begins the day you start a garden. This looks like uh, this looks like artichokes over here. I had to clear some of them off of my property when I moved in. This stuff is ready to harvest. I guess they take it into the food bank. There's some cabbage there. I got my pepper spray. Let me tell you what, uh, this is serious business tonight. <clears throat> this is basically an abandoned cemetery. Look at these babies. These are like the prickles of doom. Ow, damn. Ow. Whew. Can't get a good purchase on that. Damn. I have a feeling I'm going to end up at the hospital tonight. It's quiet. Quiet, too quiet. Cahil Gabrin, and forgotten not that the earth delights to feel your bare feet and the wind longs to play with your hair or your wig, one or the other. Interesting place. All this action, and we haven't even been on Main Street yet. All right. A lot of food gets grown there. This looks like something else big down here. Well. Not just a house. It's quiet, huh? I got a couple fears for the cemetery tonight. Number one, missing the entrance. <clears throat> This place is on a high speed, Route 116. Whew. Got to turn into it. Very easy to miss it because the sign only is, when you're coming west, you see it, not east. And number two, it's very overgrown. We got to be careful of snakes and rats and all kinds of other stuff over there. So got to be careful. Nice little garden gate there. <clears throat> yeah, the pollen is terrible. I don't know what the hell this place is. Just so much. Oh, we were just in there.
guess a lot of the supermarkets donate stuff here. Well, it could be okay, Tad. It might be, might be no big deal, you know, I'm just saying, but it does present distinct problems. <laughs> it's an, it's a, it's, it's not a cared cemetery. So I don't know what kind of challenges we're going to have tonight. It's a beautiful night, though. Just got their windows open. There's a double wide there. Somebody's barbecuing. All right, let's head up to Main Street. Forestville Lane. The Lane of Doom. Hope you feel better, Teresa. It's a nice quiet night in Forestville. to the town. Mexican food. Tiny Town, Tiny Town Cafe. It's not bad, two fifty for a coffee. Hot sandwich stand, these are good prices. Town. I think somebody's in there eating. Look at all these licenses you have to have. Frozen milk license. Safe, surf safe. Seller's permit. Retail food facility. This place hasn't been inspected since uh, 2019. Shit, it's for lease. Oh, it's a it's a ice cream shop. It's 
here's the here's the marketing issue guy guys if you're going to open a, a store retail and you want to have some signage make sure your signage tells exactly what you sell you know should just be called scoop ice cream or something like that real big on there because who in the hell knows what that is right <clears throat> That's the sad owner behind the bucket over there. Just free marketing points from Rosie. Wine tasting. Right? Don't don't make people wonder what the hell it is. Twist eatery. Chicken fried chicken. Just one thigh. The bomb. Oh, well, thank you, Craig. The uh, Fort Bragg, yeah, I think you'll enjoy part three tomorrow. I get the uh, night stuff in in Fort Bragg. And then the morning on the water, I think you'll really enjoy it. Yeah, you see the ice cream cone on the side, but that's kind of symbolism. And when you're riding by, there isn't even a <clears throat> there isn't even a sign perpendicular to the building that just should say ice cream, right? Really big, right? Oh yeah, mountain lions. So if you you encounter one, you're probably going to be a goner. Eleven to three. What else sticks? Cup of the daily soup. So you can get a grilled cheese down there for what six bucks, or I come up here with thirteen ninety five. Really. Hey, monkey boy. There's the kitchen of doom. A little small eatery in there. like cars drive in closed I don't know see it's just barber shop nothing going on here Forestville Club for off sale liquor Make sure they're going to stop. Like maybe one of these clapped out churches here, I don't know. Closed. It means that they'll sell you packaged goods over the counter too, I guess. Wow, this church really looks blown out. Wow, this whole area looks blown out up here.
Damn. Thing was gutted by a fire. Yeah, that's right. Signage is critical and it just has to convey within a fraction of a second exactly what's going on. Oh, man. What the heck happened here, guys? Hey, Lee. I look at how the fire department cut took those saws and just ripped into that for venting. Damn. Talk about the Church of Doom. 1879. Wow. What a disaster, huh? Glass all broke because of the heat. Oh, yeah, I got more parts coming. Yeah, look at what the heat did to that. What a shame. That's what you call a, I don't know if there's a redwood or not. This damn thing is huge. Gotta be careful with snakes going through here. Be careful this crap doesn't come down on you. Oh, well, thank you, Linda. I think you'll enjoy part three. Just make sure to share them out, please, on your social media. That would be the biggest help for the channel. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. You gotta be careful stepping here because the snakes. Anybody see anything in the paper about that church burning? What the hell is this? Chlorinated volatile organic compounds. And this is going to cost a fortune for somebody to clean this up. Come on, focus, mofo. Hundred forty year old church. I'd say it's. Yeah, I hear you, Liz. <sighs> Zero valent iron powders or inert uh, metallic iron capable of treating dissolved CVOCs in, into non-toxic end products. So I guess they're going to shoot iron powder into the ground. This state takes this stuff really seriously, man. If you ever get caught dumping, I'd love to know what the hell that place was. I 
wonder if there's a back way in here. I don't guess they'll ever. I don't know if it's insurance money or whatever. It's gonna be hard to rebuild this moco. This looks like where the fire began in here. Hey Carla. Okay, Lee, it's, uh, it's about six miles, seven miles, eight miles west of, uh, <clears throat> northwest of Santa Rosa. This guy's keeping an eye on me over here. I think that church predates asbestos. Hard to believe a church could stand that long. All right. Thing to do is just rescue the bell and get a do-over. When did that fire happen? Does anybody know? When that fire happened? November 25th, 2009. So, I don't see a lot of action except just to close it off. I mean, somebody might be doing something. Well, bummer. Real bummer. Fire started in a small room near where the original and later additions were. Yeah, that's what I was guessing, right where the addition met. That's where I was guessing. I don't know, the fireman cut that thing right in there. Look at that. It's like damn TP. <laughs> skunk yeah you'd be real proud of me skunk I'm doing great worship now and on our website and Facebook Maybe so. It's a music room. Creekside room. Church office over here.
Nice. I'll be live for a while. We got Chuchin to do. See, this is one of these scary homes over here. Just kind of shackled together. Tree of Doom. I'd say blackberry bushes are the ultimate home defense. Yeah, that's definitely a tree of doom right there. I have another sip of my drink. Yeah, the problem here is when there's a fire, everything is so damn dry. Yeah, it's a little too early for uh, it's a little too early for the Black Widow season. August, September, October, prime time for Black Widows. Just ask Sarah. Prime time. <clears throat> Weeby Hall, Weeb Hall, kitchen there. A rose Garden of Doom. Somebody kindly drop some food off. Weeb Hall. Nursery. Nice little sitting out area there. Rooms of Doom. Oh, Bobby, aren't you sweet? Nineteen sixty six, that's when the Orioles were winging towards their first World Series title. <sighs> Craft ciders, a lot of booze in here. Wow. Sheer winery. Check July 7, 2016. Really?
I can't believe they used that much sacramental wine. Well, here's a real drainage situation here. Can you imagine that? Undercutting the foundation here. Not good. This looks like the bullpen out here. This must be like Alcatraz, huh? You can tell money's a little tight. But during the pandemic, it's been hard for these churches to sustain. Hey, Betty. <clears throat> been very difficult. Interesting little town. Hey, really good to see you, Betty. We were checking out the Church of Doom. To the big fire. Dogs. Well, it's my camera makes things look lighter than they actually are. It's got a very good night lens. <clears throat> I think this was in Kill Bill. It's a shame. AD 1875. No, I couldn't see it from my house. Nope. <clears throat> nope. I'm a good 10 miles from here. But, if you have a fire out here, it's, you're pretty much doomed. Everything's so dry. <clears throat> Notice it happened in November before the rainy season. That's a big place there, somebody's working on. Built two per two churches, wow. That's cool. This used to be the popping place. Cars driving out here. Car hops and car shows. Got a Chinese guy in there now. Go back and read your joke. Let's see, Quirky. Quirky. <laughs> The three wise men were firemen. They came from afar. <laughs> Good Lord. <laughs> One day, walk the chooch. So, on a disappearing breed of phone booth
surprised people don't scrap this aluminum. Hey, Pizza Kitty. <clears throat> Pretty cool, guys. Forestville Club. <clears throat> Town's just a little blown out. Take care, Randall. It's like the only bar in town, huh? About the extent of Forestville. Nice piece of lumber here. Laminated. Wow, look at the steps of doom. How you doing, Kath? Catherine's sister-in-law is right around the corner. I don't know what the hell that is. That looks like a house of horrors up there. God. This is the town of doom right here. The pandemic's really taking a toll. <clears throat> that retaining wall is ready to go. No, those, those go up to some house of doom up there. Looks like some kind of witch's house or something. It's about the last business around. Mexican food. People are eating. Is this a bike shop? <clears throat> this looks like a failed business of doom over here. Bargain store. Thought somebody was looking at the window up there.
15 bucks for the set. Smell something funky cooking up there. Something real funky. Like rotten garlic or something. I don't know, I'm getting a weird vibe on this town. Probably boiling ahead, yeah. Probably two of them. Cute little house with the lights up on the uh, pergola. How you doing, Jen? Jen, dying to know. The cat, the cat, don't care for nothing. Can't make my cat noise. Is that a mosquito? That's all I need is a mosquito-borne disease. This place is... You just don't want to be out at these places after dark. They're just... They're like zombie land. Uh, no, Joni, I'm going to catch it. I know you were doing the um, practicing on the saw your truck camper thing. I will check it out and I will leave a comment for you. <clears throat> and I saw you saw part two of the electrical system, too. <clears throat> What the hell it is? It's not Mexican. It's not. It smells like good old Italian. Heavy on the garlic. I don't know what the hell it is. It's starting to get darker, guys. What we want is enough light that we don't overshoot the entrance to this abandoned cemetery. Now, that's a cool looking place over there. Is that an inn or something? Check it out. The hell is this? Another business of doom here? Copper pipe. I'm surprised that hasn't been. Uh, it's probably uh, 30 bucks worth of copper right there. Get my flashlight out. I 
It's not dark enough yet. This looks pretty cool across the street. I don't know what the hell it is. <clears throat> Let's go check it out. this place backyard Pot pie for two. Damn, chicken's expensive. Prices are heavy right here. Heavy. <coughs> Lights on up there. Yeah, I know it's California. <clears throat> yeah, it's a pot pie for two. Ah, <clears throat> <coughs> oh, these allergies. Ah. Oh. I can feel that pollen sticking to the back of my throat. Snack time! Woo! What you call a little camera bokeh there? Focus in the front, defocused in the rear. No, I forgot to take my Claritin. <clears throat> so much crap in the air here. Sit here in familiar territory amongst the piles of lumber and have my treat. Uh. Yep. Yeah. Oh boy. Ah, uh, yeah. Get mm. around. Get that towel on there. Yeah, it's a nice warm night tonight. Uh. Gotta have a snack. I know food skyrocketing. Coca-Cola was bitching at their first quarter report. Let's see where in the hell is the soda? I got so many compartments. Hey, the bag. 
If I need it tonight, I need all of my artillery here. <clears throat> I should have brought a flamethrower. See, it's much darker than it appears on the camera. The bag is boss. <laughs> the bag is boss. <laughs> Skunk, it's just a snack. Good lord. What am I supposed to pack? A organic arugula salad? Damn, I'm sitting on a stone in my ass. Damn. Skunk Ape's my new mom. This, uh, these Samsungs have excellent low light lenses on them. Ah, you're going to see Fort Bragg at night tomorrow. Very beautiful. And then uh, <coughs> daybreak on the harbor. I don't know, hobo. The earth and sun may be in a planetary reconfiguration. We're several degrees latitude north, so... High fructose corn syrup. Woo! Was well, a look good for the graveyard. <laughs> I ain't afraid of no ghost. Yeah, beans. Yep, beans in the teens. Hey, Jimmy Joe, how you doing? Beans in the teens. the old saying plant in the dust and your pockets will bust <laughs> skunk ape sorry skunk ape loves me <laughs> trail mix <laughs> Into the garbage truck. Uh, and noob is somebody that doesn't know anything new on the job. A neophyte, right? Yeah, I better stock up on ramen. Visit Maine. I'm not sure Pizza Kitty probably this fall. I'd like to get up to uh, 
Maine again. I haven't been there since 75. <clears throat> horse to ride around. <clears throat> I'm surprised we haven't seen a horse tonight. Really surprised. Yeah, be like quirky and just stop eating. <clears throat> Dentist. Bartersville Pharmacy. Over there. Wheelbarrows out at night. <laughs> there you go. Skunk's got to make a junk food run. Fishing licenses. Ideal hardware. Store the old wooden floors. Come to San Diego, watch out for the homeless when you walk in and around. Don't forget the pepper spray. I hear you, AJ. <coughs> I hear you. I'm instantly transported home. <laughs> Community bulletin board. wants to go pick grapes. God tells you the whole story. Right. <laughs> Get all the town news. There you go, skunk. Trade 15 hours of work a week. Once you get her in, you'll never get her the hell out of there. <clears throat> what the hell is this? I gotta get my flashlight out, guys. Hold on a minute. I don't know, somebody's looking to leech off somebody's property to park their uh, park model, which will never leave. So, it's called the. Uh, Then, uh, instead of neighborhood watch, you get neighborhood leech program. Right. Is that like a bread store? I 
guess it is. Bread, seven bucks a loaf. Yeah, that's right. You'll have a squad or you'll never get them the hell out of there. <sighs> you'll never get them the hell out of there. Blind Gorilla. Weird names for stores. Well, it's getting dark. We best tarry. We best not tarry. How long? This was interesting downtown. Watch me get nailed by this dope pulling out in the car here. Very dangerous, no sidewalk. Oh, Canetti, roadside Italiana. That's pretty cool. Didn't even notice that place. <clears throat> Every town needs its liquor store. It's got enough stickers on here. Yeah. Medicare for all, single payer. Voting matters. Sixties lives. All right. Let's roll so we have a ghost of a chance of finding this entrance. It's gonna be a nightmare. <sighs> Can't have anybody on my tail or I'll miss this turning. It's gonna be a nightmare. on my bumper. I missed the turn off. Wave this goof by. Where'd he go? He friggin' disappeared. It is go time! Holy, look at how dark this is, man. This is just, it's, this, this is the definition of insane. I mean, I don't know how in the hell. This might take a couple shots on this thing. I mean, this is, this is already insanity. I hope this guy's not coming at the cemetery there. Is he? No, that's a ranch. It's right up here. Now I got this guy on my tail. Let me see where this place is. Man, this thing has like a like a blind turn in. I don't know if 
that scale. Look at these guys. God almighty. Surprise we nailed this turn in. I'll be on your tail, Pizza Kitty. Let's not rush into stuff. Let's get the lit. Damn, I got a probably a cop. Shit. Shit, is that a cop? <clears throat> gate to his ranch, I guess. I don't know. Man, this is a real freak show right here. Getting the lay of the place first, guys. No sense rushing in. I could damage my vehicle and some of these high stone walls on the side. <clears throat> We're still take out somebody's grave. Look at this road. I don't even know. I don't even know if this damn thing is. Uh, this road is passable. these graves have fallen in here. What the hell is this? Is this... Where's the road? Where the hell is the road? This thing's all of... This thing has just been abandoned for... Look, we got to be careful of falling in sunken uh, graves. That's no bullshit. We got to really be careful on that. I think we're going to park right here. I got my... Thank you, Sherry. I, I already sat him on the windshield, sweetie. Thank you for thinking of that. I'm going to hate turning off these headlights. Okay, ready to roll a flashlight. Let's see. I'm a checklist. I'm just, I'm not anticipating problems, but I've not gone out here before. There we go, right into the gloom. I just stand by, guys. I'm getting organized here. Man, I thought that was a cop on. But it's an open cemetery, so. Lock it up. All right, put your flashlight down for a moment. Secure the keys. Sorry, guys, I got to go. If I don't do this and if I lose keys, I'm going to go or out of here. All right. All right, here we go. I'm only scared, Pizza Kitty, because it's like the first time I've, I've been to the... I'm just trying to get the lay of stuff. I'm letting my eyes get adjusted a bit. See, everything's all overgrown here. Let's 
see all the weeds and everything. You gotta really be careful because there's no fencing here at all. Anything can come in here. Okay, let's go over here. Corporal 35th U.S. Volunteer Infantry, 1867. Look at that. 1914, this bloke bought it in World War I. Let me just get the lay of the place. Where you have to purchase perpetual care and certain cemeteries don't offer it. Let's go over here. This is all lit up here. Ooh, thought that was a big roach ran across. We got to be careful of uh, crypts. Look at the way somebody put these stones on here. See this middle one is sinking down here. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? Guys, hear that? Did you guys hear that rattling? Keep the light off for a couple minutes till I figure out what the hell is going on over here. I don't know why. It... I hear voices. I'm not alone, I don't know. Sounds like they're speaking Spanish. Some very wealthy Mexicans have rancherias out here. I don't know. What is this red light? Get a screenshot of that, Jody. What the hell it is, it's weird looking. Weird, like a cinder block. The hell is that? A cat? God, that scared the hell out of me. The hell is that? Man, I saw these two eyes looking at me.
world's greatest dad, Alfredo Gonzalez. Dude, what the hell is crawling on me? What the hell are these people doing? Sounds like they're moving a casket around. Oh, I got gas. Put that together with cinder blocks and bench. The heck is this? That's how you find the strangest stuff in a cemetery. Artist, jeweler, Norse historian. Earl Syverson. Nor Norwegian historian. I gotta watch my bag. They're having a party or something. Well, that's like a uh, one horsepower low idle motor there. You ever seen something like that in a graveyard? I'm sure we found some Norwegian. You ever seen somebody put an engine in? Master of Restoration. That's where the fuel goes in. Yeah, it's very eccentric, is right. Well, what is this? This is all collapsed over here. Here's a Russian here. Chikanov, Alexander Chikanov. That's as Russian as it gets right there. Hey, honey badger. Let's get a, a screenshot of that, Joni. That's the Russian Orthodox. I feel like stuff's crawling all over me here. No, the uh, this is this was mad this was manufactured <clears throat> in Madison, Wisconsin. It's a farm engine. It's a Id low idle.
Miller and Johnson Manufacturing, Madison, Wisconsin. It's it really weird over here. There's the woods we got to be careful of. The hell is crawling on me. And that's the woods we have to be damn careful of over there. Pasquinelli, lots of Italians. Where's that one place look like a collapsed building? Oh no. What the hell's in that building over there? where the crap comes out of the hills up here. Careful with snakes and stuff. This got it all here. All kinds of flying crap around tonight. Sandra Emmert. 1940, 1950. Gotta be careful not to trip over stone wall. Ooh. Something big in there. What the hell is that? That's the Badlands over there. Poji, 1912, 1931. Wooden graves. What the hell was that? Only 19. Well, look at this old wooden job here. David Yeager. Some kind of super tick. Be careful where the hell I'm walking.
Purple U.S. Army Korea. So you say the old graves in the front would be the Russian ones, huh? We got to monitor this light, okay? If this goes, we're dead. <clears throat> Eighteen fifty, nineteen twelve. Yes, yeah, that's like the older area here. This light starts to fade. We got to make a dash for the car. Anytime you get one of these chain setups, that's a big deal. That's a big time family right there. Bella Evans, 1949, 1864 to 1949. I thought I was doing a service, right? Ground is all screwed up. Ross. Lost in Ross 26 to 2008 to 1908. Mason. These guys always did it up. First class. Problem with lithium batteries, when they go, man, they go. We're basically F U K K E D. Ooh, it scared me. Father, mother. It will be sweet to meet on that blessed shore. All sorrow past, all pains forever over. There's another Russian grave over here. Just don't want to trip. If I trip and smash the light, cherish mother and grandmother. I left a pee jug here. Got to be careful here because of this. Goes right out into the woods right here with these freaky oak trees. This place is crawling with widows in August, September, October. Night's gotten. flew on me. Valentina Sherwood. Something was there, but somebody pulled it off.
Valentina, that's a good Russian name. Fell over for a second, guys. No panic. I'm fine. No panic. I'm fine. I'm all good. No worries. Whew. I'm good. I'm good. Whew. Look at this grave. It's shaped like a tree. <clears throat> yeah, I think uh, my knee kind of took a beating on that. Sorry, but I wasn't bullshitting you guys. I just cracked my knee. What's this light show down here? Yeah, this looks all Russian down here. Somebody's following me. Oh, this is all rushing down here. This is the main event down here. I put a flag there. That's a nice touch. This is the crap that concerns me. Something coming out of the tree right there. I mean, this is, these are some pretty horrifying trees. These are definitely trees of doom. Look at them, man. Have you seen nastier trees? Wow, well, this is plastic. Tree's just a freak show. Just a freak show of decay. Loganoff. Victor. Best. 
U.S. Navy, Korea. Captain U.S. Navy, Roberts. World War II. Look at the way they got these stones in here. Shit, I'm older than that guy. Rosie's on Mr. Goner. I'm still chooching. Like the whole crew, they did it all the same way. Yeah, good for you, Mystic. Thank you for your service. Yeah, ask away, Pizza. I'm just keeping an eye on my uh, battery level. Interesting. Schofield. That's right, Donnie. And a simple one. Here's another Valentina. Valentina Wallace. Grossman. Stuart and his mom, Jesse. She looked like a nice Jewish mother with a nice boy. Grandmas are the heart, are the heart of the most important part of memories too special to forget. Oy vey. The Russians are coming. This is uh, thick with Russians here. Anybody can read that acrylic. Okay, thanks for stopping by, Donnie. Steps. And you. Yeah, it's a good chooch tonight. I love virgin territory. Look at that. Angel. Jody, let's grab that baby. Let me get in the right position. That's really cool. Let's flip the angel. I thought the fly was on the grave, it was on the top of my screen. Oh. What the heck is this? 
lump stump. The heck? Lump stump. I'd be thrilled if people came to my, you know, my cemetery. Franceschi. If I saw a hanging corpse, I'd be running for the hills. Russian. It's actually not kept at all. It's up to the families to come in and do what they do. This is a no care cemetery. Jerk off, J juke off, joke off. Is that right? There's another Valentine and Leonid. The hell name? I thought there was juke off. Good night, flip flops. Wow, you're on camera. I'm on camera every day, baby. I'm on camera every day. That right, was scary. I thought there was somebody. I thought there was a skeleton skull up there. Time to yawk off out of here and go get some dinner. I think, uh, <clears throat> I think we're gonna get a little Mexican tonight. Caroline Islands. Oh, I could do a lot of things with a cute little Mexican. We got a pretty good truck back to town, guys. And you're gonna be along. It's feeding time. Skip, skip. I don't think my skipping day has just bashed my knee up tonight. <sighs> yeah, we get ticks. Jeez, this is really old here. J 
Jewett's Jewett. Jewett. Samuel Barnum, Philip Thomas Barnum, P.T. Barnum, you think? Born 1833, 1897, at rest. Georgie, five years old. Died in 18, yeah, 18, 29. We gotta really be careful getting out of here that we don't get hammered on this road. Yeah, I am. I'm gonna go get something to eat now. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Uh, take you guys along. I've been doing so much adventuring lately. That aside, put you guys up here. Good night, Mystic. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Yeah, I think I'll get uh, some beef tacos, huh? Oh. Oh. Little rascal is on the job. Let me remove my... Oh. Move my... Bag, which I like a lot. I like my bag a lot. Oh, you only found a chick, tick, Kaylee. Good thing you found it. Little blood sucker. I probably have a ton of them on me. All right, this is gonna be kind of dangerous. Yeah, a little bit of a funky cemetery. Definitely a unique town. Definitely a one-stop town. Just a bedroom community for San Francisco. It's impossible to see this road. Am I on the road? I'm going to check myself, absolutely. I'm definitely going to check myself. First thing I'm doing is check, make sure I don't get clobbered out of here. Boy, I hate roads like this. They're spooky as hell. Somebody coming up over the ridge right there. Wham. You just got to kind of floor it. baby ooh, 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 ooh. Cemetery sleeper. I 
visiting is one thing, sleeping in it is another. In my mind, that kind of crosses the line a little bit. So, just the way I feel about it. Hill here. <laughs> yeah, we're really at the boonies here. Playing the uh, home game, we're on California Highway 116, going east. We're gonna make a left on Gurnville Road. to find me a queen of the rancho to be my baby doll to hold me tight and to squeeze me and never let me go I think I missed my turn off so God knows where we will go Highway of Doom. The highway of Doom. I knew I didn't take this way. Occidental Road give us the same damn thing. As long as we're eastbound and down. That's a cool little town, Occidental. Windshield. I don't know. I don't have four hundred dollars for a new one, so we just got to live with it. Well, Occidental will do fine. That's fine by me. I came out on Gurnville, so I'll just go back on Occidental. Blows 
chumps every time I look at my beautiful videos and I have to see the little speck of crap in it. Shitty roads in Michigan. My insurance doesn't cover shit. School Road, down the Alley High School, home of the Tigers. Hey, Melissa. Spooky Road. The Road of Doom. Chance to turn. No, we're good. We're 
gone. We gone. The freeway of doom. Photo on that's why it looked a little effed up. So sorry. Getting close to the hood. Yeah, good to see you, Nicole. Let's take the old Dutton Avenue. That lady's still winging tacos up the road there. That'd be all right. Three of those nice little uh, tacos. Taqueria Elanita sucks. She's terrible. Roy's is probably uh, crowded as hell. lights on. Uh. Hey Dars, you can always see the replay, honey. Just as long as you're checking out the videos, that's what I really um, hope you check them out, the travel videos. I got the third one dropping tomorrow. It's going to be a good one. Get take out. Let me see if I can park. It's always guys always got five thousand people in line. Let's just see if the old lady's dealing tacos. I don't know. Let's take a shot down the road. If you can't eat in this neighborhood at late night, you can't eat anywhere. This place knew no pandemic. Still dishing it out. Man, that place is popular. Guys, always oh, going great guns over here. Come on. Dope. Guys, sitting there looking like. Uh, 
thumb up his bum. See, I don't want to overshoot the old lady. There's the cops there, so I definitely got to keep cool. I think the old lady's right in here. The old lady always does a land office business. guys just hang tight for a couple minutes i'm gonna go get some uh, something to eat i'll be right back ordered up I think we'll eat them over here at the table guys if I can find it where in the hell is my stick oh god could you imagine if I could if I lost my selfie stick how screwed I would be in life I'm gonna eat over here, okay? Thank you. The light's crazy bad, isn't it? Are you back there? It's like being back in Tijuana again. Tuesday night at the taco stand. Tuesday night at the taco stand. I just get beef tacos. Sometimes I get pork. Sometimes I'll get fish. Sometimes I'll get uh, tripe. Like that. Just beef tonight. Hey MJ, how you doing? Yeah, this light is terrible. Huh? Rosie girls always got to be in a good light.
Get everything and chow down. I'm pretty hungry. I'm pretty hungry. I love uh, I love street food. And they're really busy in that uh, really busy in that truck in there. They're wailing away. You usually don't see women cooking in uh, Mexican places. It's almost always men. DB to my I went to your DB today. What is that? DB. What a clusterfuck that drive through is bad. What's that? I don't know. We made donuts glaze. Oh, I'm glad you're cooking. I'm glad after all that effing paperwork and ex exams. After all that. Thank you, Jerry. Dutch Brothers. Oh, DB, what a mess, man. Uh, it's, it's like the way Elaine called it a cluster. She said it in, she said it in a nice way. Cluster F. Cluster F. Yeah, the DB, the Dutch Brothers. I hear you. Yeah, the Dutch Brothers. That's one beautiful Mexican girl that works over there. It's like 511. Oh, Gotta have your burritos. Yo, <laughs> uh. so, they're all plated up. Steaming hot. He bangs down a good one. Two bucks a taco. I don't usually drink Jaritos. I don't drink that much sugar, but they use real cane sugar. Watching him. Oh, okay. Hey, Lynn. Thank you. Good to see you. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you, sweetie. Yeah, it looks pretty good. It's nothing What's fancy. That, nothing fancy. A little radishes. Leave it play. You need 12 of them high watch? Well. Get yourself something to eat. No cheese, no. I'm not a cheese at this novel. Three cheeses I like. A very well-aged Swiss cheese. Super sharp, super aged, super, super sharp cheddar. And the last is blue cheese. Authentic. These are the real deal. Uh, 
Dutch Brothers with the Cluster F. <laughs> Cut your cheese. I mean, I'll eat cheese, but I, I don't get anything out of mozzarella. I only like really good aged Parmesan, which is rare to see. Hey, Nomad Lamb. How you doing tonight? I just like blue cheese, like a blue cheese crumble. I think it's a very, very nice cheese. Thank you. Thank you. Riding the range. Those are great. Yeah, blue cheese is good cheese. I like the aromatic quality of it. Well, thank you. Uh, thank you, Rena. Thank you, sweetie. Everybody says my eyes are too big for my head. <laughs> like a deer in the head. Like. John and A used to call me Da Yen, big eye. <laughs> oh, Da Yen, Lila, Lila. Here comes big eye. very excited for you Nicole that you're actually in there whipping up food thank you Elaine and for the record Elaine I'm sorry that uh, Dutch Brothers was such a cluster you know what I was really surprised Nicole was with the way she likes to cook and I thought she'd go into <clears throat> get get certified as a chef and then go on to the kitchen and she's like no I'm interested in the I'm interested in front of the house. Wow, you know? Yeah, blue cheese is something, Ronnie. Ronnie knows up in Sheboygan, Wisconsin. <clears throat> oh, you're you're spoiled there, huh? Let's see what Nicole said. Trying to get myself up and out of there right <laughs> in that kitchen. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, the best front of house managers have also worked back there. Hot 
Open 180, yeah. Hey, Jordan, how you doing? Congratulations. I'm watching last day in LA. <laughs> Goodbye, LA. I'm excited for you. I'm so excited that uh, his dream has come true. Good, Jordan. Always catch him. I've been back looking at the old ones. Uh, uh, Palm Springs, Bob Hope uh, House, and the house towards there. I'm just glad she's doing well, Juice. They couldn't do anything in lockdown for a year, over a year, right? <laughs> uh, thank you. Good to see you. I can't wait to see you in, uh, down in Florida. And I was one of the first person people that... Uh, Jordan said, told me um, I got a place. Don't tell anybody, and I didn't tell anybody. <laughs> See, I keep a secret. Ah, nothing like a Harito. Is that your mom? Huh? Is that your mother that cooks? Oh, I thought it was family that you had here. No. Oh, oh, okay. Well, thank you. Muy bien. Huh? Okay. Bye. No English. Honey, the way you look, you don't need to speak English. You got the international language of love. The international language of love. Ah, oh, boy. Ah, oh, man. Moy bean. Oh, boy. What the hell time is it? What's my local time here? Wow, it's almost 10 o'clock. I know Betty Smith's like, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Rosie's hormones are raging. Oh, Lord. Yeah, nice compliment. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I like what I like. <laughs> it's like it's like a cold set on that hangout one night. <clears throat> it's like, oh, I don't know, but you know, Rosie, it's like... I, I can't figure it out, but if she's happy, then that's 
I thought that was so great, you know, I don't know what she's, you know, she's just happy, how about that, she's just happy, she's a perpetually happy person, blame mine on hormones too, there you go, double shot, that's exactly right, <laughs> I miss the old days, yeah, yep, <clears throat> Somehow, I think, Nicole, just you you said something early on that, um, and it was it was right as rain. It, you know, Hangouts changed everything on, uh, you know, it was great to have the Google side, but then when it came over the other side, so. Hey, Lynn, thank you. Virtual hug. The old days. Yeah. Yeah, she was uh, it's a little little heavy on the eye makeup, but uh, you know, if you like them tall and beautiful, right? oh yeah, YouTube lip changes it down and made some people better. So I don't know who it made better, you know. I don't know. Oh well, man, this lady, did she just packs them in? I thought that that was she doesn't she know hable English so. <coughs> Ripe off the vine. Troglodyte, gotta find a woman, gotta find a woman. That's right. Yeah, why don't you, one of you matchmakers set me up, huh? We can admit when they're beautiful. There you go, double shot. I like when I, I likes what I likes what I likes. Whether people like you to change it and look where you are, people can, yeah, well, we, I've had a, we've had a good time. I mean, <laughs> you've had a tougher path through it, I think, uh, you know, uh, you know, we've we've had our ups and downs, but I think we're both at a pretty good place right now. Anyway, guys, on that um, on that note, I'm going to close it out. Juice, good to see you tonight. Thanks for popping by, and uh, my friend Nicole, always wonderful to see you. To my wonderful moderators, thank you. To my uh, wonderful thumbnailographer Jody. And the official channel mascot, the Quirky Girl. So I want to thank you all for a great chooch tonight. And um, yeah, I'm going to go home and <laughs> get back on the editing. Take care, everybody. Thumbs up or appreciate it. If you haven't hit that, and make sure to watch the trip videos, please. I put a lot of time and effort. Just leave a little. I saw. I stopped by. Thank you, Rosie. Good video or you know whatever thank you guys <laughs>